Marvin. My name is Marlix. It's time you knew. Isn't your name Alexis? Or is you sound like... Abigail. Yeah, I know. She died years ago by this idiot's bullet. Hey everyone, welcome to the Mox Show, where I will showcase upcoming or already revealed mocks to everyone, and give a bio and how-to on them. Today we're taking a look at Alexis and Marlix. We'll be starting off with Marlix, and I'm just going to tell you what has already been said about him in my films, because there's yet to be shown in Chronicle of Biohero. Marlix was built at the Hero Factory. He was called Marvin Elix Stormer, or just Stormer. Preston had not yet taken the name Preston Stormer yet. This part I'm telling you will be shown in Chronicle of Biohero, but it's not a huge spoiler, so don't worry about it. He escapes with Zach Hectix, or the future Core Hunter, to become Marlix. He throws away the name Stormer, so Preston makes himself Stormer. Marlix now considers himself a clone of Stormer, but that's just what he wants to say to make Stormer mad. Anyway, his first full appearance in my films was Bionicle vs. Hero Factory 2, where he helped Makuta Detrax infiltrate the Hero Factory to get the Mask of Light. In a battle between Von Nebula and the heroes, Marlix was captured with Core Hunter. I guess while I'm here, I should say that Marlix and Core Hunter are like best buddies. Like, mad assassin, villain, buddies. In the battle between all the Toa and the four heroes and Detrax, Detrax did one of his crazy stunts. Marlix ended up back alive, Marlix returned when Makuta was just on a mission to get more data, again, from Randy the Red Rakshi. Key cake. Marlix just played a side villain in this one. He had no real purpose other than just helping out. And again, Detrax pulled a crazy teleportation stunt, and Marlix was saved again. Marlix then joined the side of Von Nebula in the civil war between heroes and, well, heroes and villains, I guess. Marlix then confessed to some of them that his Stormer's past, and, you know, why they're connected, which is what I explained before. Marlix was also was the prison guard for Makuro and Zib in Part 2. In the end, along with the rest of the villains, he shot Obsidian down. Now, he still works for the villains under Black Phantom. As for his how-to, he is honestly the most basic mock ever. Like, there is nothing complicated about him, I'm pretty sure you guys can figure it out. As for Alexis, Alexis' past is sort of unknown at the moment, but she first appeared in XT4's adventure. She worked under Von Nebula for some time and managed to pin Rotor and Stormer against each other by pretending she was an alive Abigail. But after she confessed herself in Final Curtain Part 1, she still stayed with Von Nebula. In Part 2, she played a pivotal role by sort of triggering the group of villains and heroes who thought, hey, maybe I don't want my city being blown to bits by Obsidian, and now she resides with Black Phantom. Now, I won't be doing how-tos on either of them, they're just so simple, just look at them and then you can pretty much build them. Anyway, next time, it's time for Xenix.